little bit of a change, but it didn't take too long to get used to it. You know, covering a little more ground than I'm used to, blocking on the perimeter a little bit more, get to run a little more routes, but it's been a good transition. Is there a difference in terms of were you more tired after, after that game? I mean, it's, it's, it's different than what you're usually doing, right? Yeah, uh, I got up to speed, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday in practice. I mean, that's when I was mostly tired, but got into shape real quick, so it wasn't too hard. So how, how do you think you compare to, like, a traditional receiver? Obviously, you're a little bit bigger than most of the guys out there, but, you know, maybe speed. What, what, what's, what's your kind of what you give to the game for that position? Uh, I like to think of myself as a smart football player, so if I'm not as fast as a lot of the receivers, I like to think I know the coverage is a little bit better and can run my routes a little more precise, so that's why I try to make up for any lost ground that I might not have, but it's been pretty good out there. Kind of talking what we were talking about a little bit last week, but you had that really good first game, then you were hurt, and then you came back. Just what, what was that process like for you? And It seemed like it was disappointing at the time, but you're pretty healthy now, it looks like. Yeah, it was extremely disappointing when that happened. Um, I didn't know quite what to think after that injury. Uh, but, you know, I just rehabbed every day, got back, and I'm just thankful to be where I am now. Did you know you were hurt right away, or was it just kind of a... Yeah, so I got rolled up on, and then I knew something wasn't right. I jogged off the field, thought maybe it'd be okay, you know, take a week off at most, but a little bit more worse than I thought, so I'm good. What, what is that like when you when you, initially you're hurt and you're like, oh, I hope this isn't bad, I hope this isn't bad, and then you find out that, you know, this may keep you out for a couple of weeks. Just just how, how does that kind of work with your psyche and kind of mental... Oh, it, it's tough to say the least, yeah. um, but that's what makes a great player great. You know, you just got to power through it and just do everything you can, you know, today. And so that's what I did, and I'm here now. What's working for you better now than it was a year ago, two years ago? Or why are you a better player now than you were then? Is it, ju is it just experience? Or are you doing anything technically different? Or Yeah, I'm doing a few things technically different. My hand strike is a lot better, um, faster, play with better pad level, routes are better, and my overall football knowledge has really increased, and that's helped a lot. What's uh what's some of your younger tight ends look like right now? I mean, you guys got three guys right now that are all you know towards the tail end of their careers. What's what's the future at this position? Uh, Cam McCormick and Jake Breland showing some potential. Um, again, they're hitting a lot of learning curves. They're figuring it out, but they've made a lot of improvement just from fall camp. So it's looking good. Excellent. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yeah.